Hi everybody. We're coming to you today from our seed warehouse where we're going to talk a little bit about how to grow milkweed from seed. Because as you already know, milkweed is really important for monarch butterflies and we want you to be successful at this because what you're going to do is really important. In most of today's video, you're going to see us using these things that we call containers that we put the milkweed seed in, grow the plant, and then transplant it. Don't worry if you have one of these things, because today we're going to tell you how to have great success with this, doing it at home with a Dixie cup. Our Dixie cup method is going to work today, whether somebody's giving you a packet of milkweed seeds that you're using, or somebody actually went out last fall and hand harvested milkweed seed that you're going to use. Here's the five factors to make sure this is a success. The right soil, planting depth, moisture, warmth, and root depth. For our soil today, we're using a simple potting mix. This one is from miracle Grow, but you can probably find a potting mix at a hardware store or a nursery just about anywhere in the spring. Just make sure that you're not using soil that you've dug up from the backyard but you're using an actual potting mixture. The rule of thumb for the planting depth of any seed is that we should plant it two times the diameter of the seed. So today we wanna to be planting our milkweed seed between a quarter and a half inch deep into our potting mix. The right amount of moisture for our milkweed is really important. We don't want it too wet and we don't want it too dry. We want our potting soil to be moist and holding moisture for the milkweed, but we don't want the cup to be holding water in it. So what we're going to do today is punch some holes in the bottom of our Dixie cup so that excess water can drain out. To put our drainage holes into the Dixie cup, just take something like a washcloth and stick it into the Dixie cup to give it a little bit of structure, and then use a nail to press four to six holes in the bottom of the Dixie cup to allow excess water to drain out. Fill your Dixie cup with the potting soil and then press the potting soil in a little bit to make sure all the air space is out and then finish by topping off your Dixie cup just a little bit below the top of the rim. Place three to four milkweed seeds in each Dixie cup. I like to use a screwdriver to scratch the seeds in to the proper planting depth and then cover them up with your potting soil. The right soil temperature is needed for your milkweed seed to germinate and grow. So to help make that happen, we're gonna suggest that you put these Dixie cups on the windowsill of a south facing window. That will allow the sunlight to warm your Dixie cup and allow your milkweed seed to germinate and grow. With the right moisture and soil temperature, these seeds will germinate in 15 to 35 days. When it comes time to transplant your milkweed seedlings, we need about four to five inches of good root growth to be able to be successful. These Dixie cups will work perfect for that. You'll know you're ready to start thinking about transplanting your milkweed when it is six to 10 inches tall. Before you actually transplant the milkweed, start by bringing your Dixie cup plants outdoors during the day for two weeks. Now you're ready to transplant your milkweed. Find an area that doesn't have a lot of grass but has bare soil, like a flower bed. Dig a hole the same size as your Dixie cup. Take the milkweed plant and the potting soil out of the Dixie cup without disturbing the plant's roots place it into the hole that you made, and then press the soil firmly around what you've just planted. So there's our project. If the Boy Scouts of America are interested in doing a bigger pollinator project, say an acre or two, or maybe even bigger, the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund would be interested in working with you to provide free pollinator seed mixtures and the technical guidance to get the project done. So, a Dixie cup, milkweed seed, and the Boy Scouts of America coming together to benefit monarch butterflies? 
Now that's great habitat.